Good morning guys, Tony back again, or in Todge. Hope you're all well. So it's Saturday here, nice and early in the morning. Just dropped my little girl off at a, a Saturday job. And I thought, let's have a travel out to some CXs I don't really visit, or I've never visited before. So I put it in Google Maps like, and found a couple that, I've, I've, I've been to this one once before where I'm gonna go, and then one I've never been to before. And they're not that far away, they're only probably half an hour, 40 minutes away. So I thought, let's go out there. I've got um, a bit of stuff to trade in in the back, what I've had to get rid of for a bit, some old mobile phones, what I've had chucked in the drawer, and uh, bits and bobs of duplicates and stuff. So I thought, I'll get them cashed in, and um, take you guys along with us to some different stores and see if we can find a bargain or, or find anything, you know, uh, really good in them because I do like looking through CEX stores a lot of it is rubbish but um, you do find the odd bit I have found some decent things as you've seen in the past and yeah I just find, find I find these videos when other people do them I really like them I like to see what's around and you know what people have um, sort of stumbled across and stuff like that so let's get on guys to the first stop and uh, yeah we'll have a look around all these stores so let's go. I don't know if it's going to be two, two CX doors or three, but uh, we'll see how much time I've got before I've got to pick my little girl back up. So let's get on, guys, and let's get there. So into CX Melton Mobile we go, guys. So it's just opened here, nine o'clock in the morning. Let's go and see what's in this little store. Got quite a few things here. Look, uh, you've got Army of Darkness, ten quid. Get it cheaper though. Um, Annabelle Creation was decent. Uh, Alligator People, eight quid. I think that was cheaper in, in HMV. Bride of Dracula, good film, twelve quid's a decent price. Uh, Bay of Blood Death, ten quid. That's really good. Brain Damage is a decent film. Uh, Blood Rage there too. Before I Vanish. Uh, Band of Brothers there. That Metal Tin. And you got some 4Ks here as well. Rogue One and Predator. Flash Gordon, a few other bits and bobs of Goonies there. If I'm going to watch a comedy, I'd definitely go for American Pie. I love those films. Airwolf series there. Here's that Asasius box, which is like French films, I think. 25 quid. Uh, Fast and Furious set there too. Two films I've never seen before, horror films. Don't suppose they're any good, but you never know. Pretty cheap. So, never know. Might check those out. <coughs> There's the best Dracula film ever, 1958. This is a decent slasher, Charlie's Farm, four quid. A good Australian slasher film if you've never seen that one. And there it is. Night Train Murders, 18 quid. It's out of print now, so pretty hard to get. Or it's 18 quid, I suppose. Next to Kin, that was decent. Uh, never seen, I think I've seen this one a long time ago, so it looks pretty interesting. Madman 2 is a good one. There's a Descent Steel book there, and there's a an it double pack. I need to have a closer look at that. A few other bits and bobs as you can see here. American Werewolf and stuff. Uh, Revenge, this must be out of print, £25. Joan Collins, looks like a 70s film. Don't know much about it. The Sentinel, I've got that. I've got Snapshot too. Room in Rome. It's a bit uh, erotic. Never seen that one. Swamp Thing there, they cancelled that after the first series, 12 quid. Got she Freak down there for £10 too. Purge Anarchy, £3.50 Steelbook Blu-ray, too bad I suppose. Shivers there for 10 quid. I think that's out of print now too, David Cronenberg film. There's the She Freak from 101 Films. Looks interesting, don't know if I'll pick it up or not. Scarface is a classic, Slugs is a classic. Um, lots of good titles in here guys. Tammy and the T-Rex, 15 quid. I think that's out of print now. Uh, the box set anyway. Vamp, Vampire Lesbos, all sorts here. Wolf Creek. Hey guys, so I'm back from CEX as you saw. Unfortunately, I only, I only went to one CEX at Mountain Mowbray. Um, what you saw, obviously the footage. I did go to another one, but unfortunately it was closed due to... Um, unforeseen circumstances it said on the um, door so it wasn't actually open the one I'd never been to before but I went to this one and to be fair 
there was some cracking stuff I found you know it's just I come across some really good stuff so I had about 150 pound voucher what I traded in all bits and bobs of shite really and um, yeah I was looking through some of the stuff and some of the stuff that priced up wrong um, it was crazy it's not the biggest store as you saw but there's some great stuff I thought it was one of the best CX's I've been in for my type of film you know cult and horror and and just a little bit interesting I thought it was um, amazing there is a bargain here which they have priced up wrong which you probably saw in the video but I had to pick it up but basically um, I'll go through what I picked up. I think I picked up 12 or 13 titles guys I'll go from the not so expensive stuff um, up to you know the better stuff what I think's the best stuff so I picked up this one you saw me pick it up never heard of it before called the corridor for a pound um, says Stephen King uh, a mix of Stephen King and Donny and Donny Darko so I don't know much about that guys if you can see that uh, sorry about the lighting but it looked quite interesting for a pound I thought pick that up if you've seen that let me know guys the corridor I picked up this one I haven't I've heard it's pretty bad but I do love Robert England and um, it's called the last showing two pound fifty and it's got obviously Robert England in there I'm not expecting much from this probably just like a popcorn flick but you know how it is for two fifty there's the back guys I thought gotta grab that and then this one I think I had this on DVD and never got round to watching it I didn't even know it had a blu-ray release it was four pound I've heard it's not too bad it looks like a early 2000s film cry wolf on cut so I don't know much about it um, but it looks like a I don't know mystery sort of horror that sort of thing um, so if you've seen this one let me know guys as well this one's only a 12 but you know for four quid I thought um, I'll give it a crack and then I picked up a, a network film um, Miss Lalze's Dolls remember watching this a long time ago on TV um, haven't watched it since I don't think can't remember much about it but I do love my um, you know my old, my old uh, classic horror and uh, Network do a great job it looks like a 70s film 60s film or something but pretty cool and for five quid I thought you know um, you get the the booklet and all the good stuff so quite cool cool release for five quid right up my street and then I picked up um, an Italian collection I know it's not much more than this anyway to buy brand new but it comes with a slip cover and sometimes when you're in um, CX or HMV it's hard to come by with a slip cover and that's uh, Witchcraft, got Linda Blair in it, 12 quid, um, really nice soft touch uh, slip cover there. And um, there we go, it's one of them sort of Evil Dead ripoffs, aka La Casa 4, I think that's Evil Dead 4 maybe. Um, but really beautiful slip case and you get inside there I get, uh, you know, a nice booklet and all that good stuff so yeah another Italian collection tad number 62 mint now so like I say I could pick this up but I had me a voucher so I thought why not <clears throat> really cool one and this one is a bit hard to find now guys um, it's out of production I don't really like paying this much for the Italian collection but this one never come with a slip cover and it's actually number one in the series and it's absolutely mint this one and it's called uh, the night trade murders so I paid £18 for this like I say it is a hard one to come by and um, it's a pretty brutal watch if you've never seen it there's the back guys if you can see that sorry about the lighting again and then you get the nice little booklet and stuff still comes with it so you know not too bad but yeah I'm glad to own the night train murders again and 18 quid uh, with a voucher that's not too bad 
Uh, this one was a really good buy, guys. Um, so the Mario Barber films um, went out of print from our video well, a couple of years ago. And uh, obviously all his films, I think, from our video, they went to a different distributor or something. But this one I saw there um, with a window box for £10. And it's uh, Bay of Blood. And it's a nice window, window box edition. Pretty minty, to be fair. It's a little bit of a... Not rip, but that's it. But it's pretty minty, as you can see. Um, and you get the one, it's the one with the, all the, the four alternate artworks. Let me show you inside here. So, you got Bay of Blood there. Obviously the English one, and then that's probably the Spanish or Italian um, one. And then you get, I think you get nice poster. Poster, booklet, and then two different artworks on on the other side so everything's there for 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 10 quid for bay of blood and it is a good film i love it to be fair and um yeah thought i'll grab that for 10 quid um another one which was quite a decent buy guys it's the free disc edition um of blood rage six pounds so this is the cool sort of um Thanksgiving slasher if you haven't seen this um, Really cool from about 1987 or something like that. So you get um, Three disc directors approved um, What else do we get? Nightmare Shadow in the Woods limited exclusive So it's a re-edited version you get an extra re-edited version of the film free disc yeah. So I don't know if this one's out of print now I suppose it is but um as you can see there, DVD and there's the uh, the three discs. So for six quid for a really good slasher film, why not? Uh, that's Blood Rage. This one, guys, was um, was going out when I nipped back in when they tried my stuff. What I took in, um, they looked like they had a, a few of the um, Shaw Brothers Asian collection films come in as I was out, and I saw this one. And it's marked up wrong. They've marked it up as Inframan. And um, it's actually uh, Legendary Weapons of China. I think it's about 15 quid in HMV. But I got it for 8 quid. And uh, absolutely mint slipcover. Just come, just come through the door. They just stuck the sticker on it. Um, and I do like my, uh, my Japanese films. Whatever they are. Hong Kong films. You know. That sort of thing. Shaolin type films and um, yeah this is quite a cool one really nice slip cover then we get the full artwork there and then inside we get one disc we get a um, massive poster and a really nice booklet so eight quid thought got to pick that one up they've marked it up wrong as Inframan for some reason but that's their problem, <laughs> but uh, yeah, cool. Then the next two guys are my, probably my best finds. I'm really sweating, it's really hot. Um, so I've been looking for this one for a bit, this steel book, and I come across it in the window, as you saw in the thing, and it is The Descent, uh, 18 quid. Um, I think it was a Zavi exclusive, out of print now. It goes for quite a bit of money on eBay. Uh, it's mint. I don't know if it ever come with a J card, guys, but it's got like a nice protective wrap on there. Great, great film if you haven't seen this, The Descent. And as you can see there, it's got like the, the women um, in the shape of the skull around like a fire. And it's just a really nice addition. I thought for 18 quid, I've got to get that because I haven't actually got The Descent for some reason in the Blu ray collection. So, yeah. That was good for 18 quid. Like I say, it was all a voucher, so I wasn't spending any of my own money. And then the possess pièce de résistance of the trip was this. So I saw this in the back, and I just thought it was um, it uh, 4K set. I didn't realise it was um, a steel book. And it's the nice, nice Zavi exclusive two pack steel book. Uh, got couple of little light scratches on it but for 18 quid they've marked this up wrong i think this is meant to be the normal it two pack 4k set and they've actually marked this up wrong um 
but as you can see it's a nice steel box pretty minty and then inside so you get like this nice nice um sort of hard box steel so you've got to be careful with that and then you get it chapter one and two so we'll, i'll show you it beautiful artwork for it chapter one and these you know people crap on these films a bit but they brought horror back into the limelight and i really like them for what they've done for horror and i just think they're good films in general um and just a nice steel book and you get obviously 4k and blu-ray and a poster in that one and yeah they've just marked this up wrong guys because i think i'm sure it's meant to be about 50 quid or something but 18 quid and then it chapter two like i said mint steel books the the case has got a couple of scratches but look at that absolutely beautiful and then on the back again and this one's chapter two and it's got three discs uh yeah three discs bonus feature in there and then another oh, excuse me another poster so i thought that was absolutely fantastic for those two really nice sort of um soft in there but uh nowhere it goes in but i thought for that really pleased so Glad I had a trip out to uh, Melton Moby today, guys. Um, got rid of a bit of crap myself and uh, picked up some great stuff. So get in the comments. Tell me what you think, guys, if you like the trip and if you think I got some bargains. I think I did. And, um, yeah, just get in the comments. Ask me whatever you like. I've been Tony, guys. I'll catch you all for the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.